Hey, welcome back, everybody. Not sure if anyone will join. It's uh, morning on a Thursday, but got a little bit of spare time here. So I thought I would uh, take a quick look at uh, Lock and Low Tactical's quick reference flip cards. I had asked some questions about this online, how much it cost and stuff like that, because I just couldn't be bothered going to the website. So uh, why not jump on Facebook and ask, right? And uh, of course, the five minutes later, I find I've got an order placed for me and David Heath his little caricature here has sent me a complimentary copy which was <clears throat> very very nice of him to do so so i thought i'd take us through this real quickly and and you know let's spend five or ten minutes to have a look at these flip cards because uh you know there was obviously i had a lot of comments about the 5.1 rules uh the the, the three big uh changes and all the updates and all the rest of it and the timing of that update and Obviously, some, uh, for some reason, some folks took it away that I was unhappy with the 5.1 rules. I wasn't unhappy with the rules. <clears throat> I just was questioning the timing, and uh, I didn't was not a super fan of the three changes that were made. Nevertheless, all of the updates and corrections and fixes that were put in to make the rules better are great. So let's see what this does and let's have a look at it right so first up uh, and the thing that you're going to be using the most in the game let me see if i can get a little bit closer here without having to jack with the camera zoom uh is you know the damage calculation table so if uh you don't like doing math you can look at your attack modifiers and uh, the defenders modified result and you'll see what sort of damage check you're going to need to uh, have to calculate there for yourself. And little, let me put some lights on. It's kind of dark in here, isn't it? Does this make a difference? Whoa, hey now, look at that bad boy. All right, let's get some light up there. All right, that's better. <clears throat> now I can see what's going on. Uh, there's a summary of the attack, how to do overruns, close assaults, the damage check table itself. So let me just move the camera for you for that. So you can see right there. There's your uh, little results table all in summary. And you also note if you're familiar with the 5.1 rules and the 5.0 rules, the, everything's color uh, coded. So if you're trying to find a rule section, you can just go to this little color coded itty bit thing there and away you go. By the way, I see there's four or five folks joining. Please uh, say hi and let's know who's here and we can chit chat as case may be explains what shaken is explains what abandoned damaged and destroyed is which is exactly uh i'm assuming i haven't compared the two but exactly the same as what is on uh the the primary charts that come in the game uh or in the rule book etc so the dft mods now this will probably follow by the looks of it it does hey man good to see you guys what's going on um rough swordsman there he is look at that guy uh so if anyone who hasn't seen his channel you should check it out he's got a great channel and great write-ups as well um and jonathan good to see you buddy uh so direct fire this should map to the new uh format that came in 5.1 which i think if you go see my video on that uh, is excellent and then the ordinance modifiers every modifier not most of the modifiers, but all of the modifiers are included in the tables here, which is great. And so what I like about this already is it's smaller than I thought it would be, right? It looks, uh, you know, it's the size of a pencil, right? It's about the length, a little bit more than a pencil. It's quite thick. There's a lot more in here than I thought there would be. And I think the price is 24 bucks or something like that. And I thought, you know, that's a lot of money for this little uh said what i thought was going to be eight or ten pages but as you can see it's pretty substantial and we're going to get into a little bit more of this in a sec but i like the form factor right so i can imagine having the big old two billion page uh, 5.1 rule book sitting on the bookshelf and having this by my side with the charts or or not as the case may be and i've got everything i need so once again uh if i could just have this camera up here that would be perfect let me adjust the legs on this stupid $2.95 tripod. Uh, there we go. Now you probably can't read anything, but whatever. <clears throat> so, small arms versus infantry, small arms versus uh, vehicles and helos and mortars and aircraft and stuff like that. Uh, it goes through all that detail there. 
And then, of course, the classic I made fun of Malay odds ratio table. In case you don't want to do math, you you pre you you post a boomer people, or is it pre boomer people? I don't know. Uh, what with the gene the gene Z. Uh, don't like doing ratios apparently according to the lock and load folks so they put this table in here for you, you don't have to do any thinking about it and then uh, explanations of the artillery rules and the new artillery rules so you can look at those at your pleasure uh, the fate now this is a great new table uh, because it it summarizes in one page what happens with successful OFT and DFT results for each type of uh, character in the game or, or or representation or counting in the game outside passengers inside passengers crew and the vehicle so very very nice i like that a lot portage costs all sorts of bits and pieces so there's some optional rule stuff in here thermal imaging which is nice optional rules that you can use for the modern stuff if you want to let me have a little sip of tea here mm. hot hot uh then uh, this looks like this might be a sequence of play. Uh, yeah, so what to do in the different segments of the sequence of play. How to run your fire combats. So it goes on and on, right? Uh, then kind of breaking up the rules. Stacking, morale checks, support weapon conditions. What can you do with a support weapon? How do you use one? Who can use one? Weapon teams restrictions. DCT results how to run assault fires and stealth movement and what's a low crawl. And once again, notice the color coding, right? You'll, you better go check those out in the rules with the rules reference there. So that's really nice. Well, that's a cool piece of artwork. I didn't notice that the first time I flipped through that. Uh, Malay combat. Mo, 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 what is up? And spotting, how to do spotting attempts. There we go. Really like this little set of tables. It's great. So you could flick through this and uh, find what you need, how to use your leaders, your heroes, your armor leaders, how to run scouts and vehicles, vehicle facing. Great thick stock, by the way. This is uh, really durable, right? So it's not paper. It's got a thick kind of cardboard stock to it, and it's got a little shiny uh, gloss, semi-gloss finish. Uh, Mounting, dismounting. This is really good. This is so well done. So excellently well produced. Uh, I like this little coloring on the side here too. That's nice. Little artistic effort there. Good job, fellas. Helos, how to manage them, how to run them, the modes, the firing, the passengers. This is great. And then, of course, the terrain uh, uh, bits, you know, bunkers and foxholes and stuff like that. Vehicle emplacements. <clears throat> and then I'll uh, then a run through on all the counters just in case you go ah you know what is that number again uh, if you're new to the game this is awesome right what does that red bar mean what is uh what is a yellow box around my unit mean oh that's right it's stealth damn got that action with the rules reference as well I need to talk to them about getting my friggin counter in here like bro because there's not just this knucklehead on the front. I also have a, uh, I think I'm in the, the French Foreign Legion or something stupid like that. Uh, gotta get my, I gotta get my, my face inside the rule book. All right, weapons, rundowns. You know, I found this when I first started playing. I found this to be very confusing. And, it, and because it, there was nowhere in the original 3.0 or even the 4.0 rules that really explained what these, you know, circle H is and the red squared ATG MHE equivalent was and why they're two different numbers. And <clears throat> it's good, it's good, 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 good stuff to have all this pointed out concisely and clearly and all that sort of goodness. Uh, okay, let me see. Aircraft, okay, helos, and a place for notes if you have them. So look, you know, uh, okay, I like that. Very cool. Yeah, lock and load, uh, that's a really good point, Mr. 262. 
uh, lock and load practical, right? They, they do give you an alarming number of choices on how to consume their rules and how to engage with their games. And to some people, it can be overwhelming. And I think that that can often be you know, sort of part of the problem. And the, the overt desire to please people and to make things easier for you may often lead you to be buying a whole bunch of stuff that you may or may not need. And, uh, and this is, uh, I think, yet another example of, hey, look, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cool to have an easy flip reference something that I don't have to have because they blew up the size of the rule book with much, much larger font, lots more artwork, you know, 10 or 15 pages of uh, introductory stuff about the counters and stacking and all that sort of stuff. And then a 100 page or 80 page, 70 page, whatever it is, walkthrough of an entire gameplay. There's a free game in the rule book. You can tear the pages out, cut, cut crap and glue crap and make make your own free copy of the game to try it out all that's in the rule book and you don't want to lug that big old thing around so they said hey let's do it this way uh and it also makes it uh, accessible uh, hey kitty <laughs> really seriously dude uh it also makes it accessible for uh for folks to uh, consume the rules the, the way they want to and if you're playing the PC games that they have or the digital games they have and you don't want to buy a whole module, you can just buy the rule book and have a physical copy or just download the PDF. And then, of course, you can uh, also play on the, all the tabletop simulators and whatnot and just buy the scenarios without buying the games. So I think it's a great way to provide a whole different range of uh, ways to consume things. So. Very, very cool. All right, look, that's all I really had. Just 10, 12 minutes. Wanted to show you uh, show you this. Uh, really enjoyed it and very much appreciate you sending that to me, David. Uh, it was uh, well done. All right, all the best. And uh, you guys take care and enjoy. If I can work out where... No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I really got to go. Get, stop. <laughs>